Happy birthday to you. Thank you. 29 years old again. That's right. Again. That's so, my story. I'm sticking to it. So I'm going to make you a three egg omelet. That's what I'm going to do. And I... No, no carbs. It's going to have onions and ham in it. Okay. Alright. And cheese? And cheese. Okay. So... And if you don't have to finish it up, you can have the rest of it for lunch. Well, I'll have it for my two-hour snack. All right. Very, very, very tasty. Thank you, honey. You're welcome. What's in here? Ham, onions, and cheese. Mm-hmm. Love it. Mmm. Look what Megan made me, guys. It's a crocheted polar bear. I love him. Oh. <laughs> I've been wanting a. I've been. How long have I been asking you to make me one? I don't know. Like since you first started crocheting animals, I've been make me a polar bear. Make me a polar bear. Well, he is the only one like that because I didn't use a pattern. Oh. I really? Made, I made him without a pattern. Oh, he's so awesome. special. What should we name him? We gotta name him, everybody. What should we name him? He had a card for you, too. Oh, he had a card for me, too. <laughs> he's gonna watch movies with us. We gotta I made name him. <laughs> we gotta name him, everybody. Okay, put your name suggestions below for my polar bear. Okay, let's open the card. Oh, the card has manatees on it. I wonder why. Oh, the humanity. Humanity. <laughs> humanity. <laughs> Happy birthday, with Mom. I love you, Megan. Oh, it's so pretty. Thank you, baby. I love you too. You're welcome. Okay, tell us the tell story, us the behind, story behind Croquette. Well, I'm still taking names, by the way. That's not definite. Um, three days ago, I found a really cute polar bear pattern, and I ordered it to make it. It's like you can order the pattern on Etsy and then, it, and then you can download it um, right away. And so I ordered it and then it said something about being shipped. And I was like, what the heck? And so I started emailing the, the person right away and I was like, I need this like now. Can you email it to me instead of shipping it to me? And then I read more into her, um, her Etsy store and it said that you could, that she would email you the download right after you bought it within 24 hours. So what I ended up doing is last night around, what time? Probably 10 o'clock. Uh -huh. I started making him. And I made him without a pattern. Well, he's just adorable. So mom dropped off her present last night too. <clears throat> For a daughter-in-law who's special, and it's got flowers on the front. Loving wishes on your birthday for hopes fulfilled, dreams come true, and a world of happiness always. Wishing you a very happy birthday. I hope and pray a lot of your health will be 100% better this year. Love, Mom. Thanks, Mom. Okay, so let's see what Grandma got me or what my mother-in-law got me. Oh, 
I need these. This is a night shirt with a zipper all the way down. Because when I have my shoulder surgery, I'm not going to be able to put my arm up to put anything over my head. Because my arm is going to be like this on my body. So thank you, Mom. I really, really needed this. So what's a derivative? It is the representation of the slope of a function. That's nice to know. Did you get that, Boomer? In school and everyday life. <laughs> now we're doing right now we're doing integrals though. Groovy man. Opposite of derivatives. Exactly. What does an integral represent? Area under a curve. I'm a good tutor. Maybe Yay. I'm just smart, Megan. Oh. <laughs> she is smart. Though. You do me no credit. <laughs> just kidding. Just kidding. Awesome. I'm just That's why I come back to you. <laughs> yeah. Taking your birthday nap. I was tired. What? I was tired. Who's here? Oh, everybody's here. Brian's here. Megan's tutoring. That's everybody. That's everybody we know. I mean, I was so going to try some Canadian candy. So, hey. But once hey. we're less taught this way, <laughs> I didn't like it, but I understood why. So it's it Canadian it original, and then it's in French. <laughs> Coffee crisps. Hey, Megan, what does this say? It's in French. La Barra Canadian Originale. Okay, do you want to do 45? They just looked at us funny. Well, she's working. I know. All right. Okay. Did you guys see? Him? Did you guys see him? Isn't he so cute? Okay. Am I boring you? No, but he wanted to. He he, he wanted to be on camera. I uh, sure. <laughs> Smells like coffee. Tastes like coffee. Mm hmm. Just like coffee. You like it? Yeah. I wouldn't like it. Because I don't like coffee. Yeah, I know. I'm the only one here who would drink coffee in the whole house. Megan drinks coffee. Oh, yeah. You want to try some of this candy bar? No. She's on it. Too bad. So, <laughs> so I'm going to try. Oh, messy. Eat a. I annoyed them. Hello there, little guy. I got a birthday card. Oh, did you go to the post office? I did. Nothing there? Oh, yeah, there's a card there. It's uh, bigger, too big for the post office box, so I have to, we have to... No, what's better than opening a birthday card and finding money inside? Nothing! Well, Cole's car. <laughs> you didn't have to do that, Brian. Happy birthday, Valerie. <coughs> Hope you... It's my chicken scratch. Hope you... Don't tell oh. me. Hope your birthday he thought wishes it, come true. He thought it would be more magical if he found a little kid and made him sign the cards. So. <laughs> oh, and yeah. it's got a smiley face. <laughs> okay. Everyone knows what this means. It's Sunday, 6 o'clock. We're going black. Time for The Walking Dead. Hello, everybody. Hello. Look it. Yes, it's your... It's my birthday. Yay. And I got my little polar bear that Megan crocheted for me. Isn't he cute? She put up the pattern on Etsy, I think. I don't know if she did yet or not, but she's going to. So if any of you want to learn how to crochet this little guy... She did it without a pattern, so she made her own pattern for him. And she's going to put it on Etsy. And I'm still taking, like, ideas for names. And I want to thank everybody on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, for all the happy birthday wishes. Thank you all so very much. I feel so loved today. Now, now it's time for Neighborhood Community Shoutouts. Greg, 
Myers. He tried our Egg McNeighbors sandwich and he said he loved it. Good. Glad to hear that. We like when people try our recipes and, and get back to us and tell us how they taste. The Spasmodics thinks we should come up with a new channel called Flossing with Megan. If y'all remember when we were doing charades with Nikki and John, um, Nikki caught Megan flossing a little bit. And uh, the Spasmodic would like her to do an advanced flossing video. Told them we would have to take votes on that. I don't think too many people want to see that. Doesn't sound interesting. <laughs> And Dana B. Saw, I know you say you had six crackers. We truly, truly do believe you. But your viewers did not see you count out six crackers. That's right. Then you crushed them. And we had no idea how many were right Exactly. And then we had to take your word for it that you had like two left. Exactly. So, you know, it's okay. It's okay. We believe you. You still didn't win the challenge because it's darn hard challenge to win, but we believe you. Again, everybody, Elijah, Mama's Mom's Vlog 80. Elijah's doing much, much better, but they still have two more months of chemo to go. Still having major, you know, they still need our help. Ronald McDonald House, the insurance is no longer covering for them, so they need to pay for that out of pocket now. And they really, really could use some support. So if you haven't already, I know I sound like a broken record. Please go over, give them thumbs up, subscribe, go donate if you can donate, purchase a shirt. They're only $15.00. Help this family out. You know, they're going through a lot right now, and they could really use the emotional uh, and, and financial support. So if you guys could do that, that would be great. So that's all I have for shout-outs tonight. So it's time for Neighborhood Community Credit Roll. Okay, so yesterday's trivia question was a good one, I think. If you actually tried to watch the movie and, and get it from there, you would have a hard time. Peter Lorre wasn't the most articulate person, but um, you'd have to actually go looking for it, which, uh, which of course, a lot of people did. And he says, and I'm not going to say it in Latin, I came, I saw, I conquered. Do not speak ill of the dead. Beware of dog. If you want peace, prepare for war. And furthermore, I believe Carthage must be destroyed. And the first one who got it right was Michael031484. And no, I would not admit to where I get my information. He's uh, taking that to the grave. Uh, you might have found where I get it, but I don't actually get it all in one place. I look around, but uh, there's one really good source. Tanya Longley was next. I uh, got partial credit. Terry Johnson. Uh, the Abyss 92882 and Bambi also got partial credit. Okay, tonight's trivia question is an easy one. Uh, 1999 uh, Tim Burton movie Sleepy Hollow starring Johnny Depp, Christina Ricci, um, Good movie. and um, Christopher Walken. How many people lost their head in that movie? You are all part of our neighborhood community, each and every one of you out there. Be very, very gentle. No! We love you all very, very much. <laughs> we would not be here today if it weren't for all of you out there. Thank you so very much. Thumbs up. Don't forget to go by and check out the Neighborhood Zoo, Paranormal Investigations with the Neighbors, and Megan's Arts and Crafts. Thumbs up, and we will see you guys tomorrow.